Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate uh, for the radical of a perfect square number. And in this case, we have it as a fraction, which I know confuses, will confuse a lot of students. But there's a very, very important property uh, for radicals that we can uh, use to help us solve this. And that property is, when I have the square root of any rational number, we can rewrite that as the square root of a over the square root of b. So therefore, we can just focus on just taking the square root of our numerator and focus on taking the square root of our denominator, which I think a lot of you would prefer because um, dealing with fractions or thinking of things in terms of fractions can confuse us very often. So now I just need to focus on, all right, what is the square root of 8? What number multiplied by itself gives us 8? And basically what we want to do is, you know, we can look into prime factorization, but hopefully at this point in the game um, you see that when doing 64, um, the number that multiplied by itself for that one is going to be 8. So therefore, I can rewrite this as the square root of 8 squared, which therefore, or I can rewrite 64. Let me just do it this way. I can rewrite 64 as the square root of 8 times 8. So therefore, what number square root, again, means what number multiplied by itself equals 64? Well, that answer is just 8. Um, now we need to remember about 196. And 196 is often forgotten um, because it's not you know, as often used as you'll see 64, 36, or 49. So we could go through prime factorization. Um, but let's also look at, uh, hmm, yeah, let's go and look at prime factorization. Uh, why not? So if I was going to do this, if I want to determine 196, I want to see, all right, can I break, how could I break this up? Now, when looking and trying to think about numbers, the easiest number, as long as you know it's even, you know that it's going to be divisible um, by 2. So I could say, what two numbers are going to multiply to give me 196? So I could say 2 times, and let's see. Um, so it would be 98. 2 times 98, that looks like that will work. And then I could see, all right, well, now I need to break this up, right? So I could say divide that by 2, and that could be, looks like uh, 49 times uh, 2. And then I could say, well, again, whenever we're looking at this, you know, always try to see, well, 49, I could break up into 7 times 7. Okay, so now I've prime factorized 196. And remember, when we're taking the square root, the square root means what number multiplied by itself gives us uh, that uh, our radicand. So you can see here, I can rewrite the square root of 196 is equal to the square root of 7 times 7 times 2 times 2. So I have two pairs of numbers. So basically, what this is is square root, uh, or it's just going to be 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. Now I can reduce that. I can divide by 2 on the top and bottom, and that's going to give me 4 sevenths. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important to know your, squ the, your square numbers. That can be very helpful in evaluating square roots. It's also important to know how to prime factor, prime, um, write a number as its prime factorization to help you um, if you get stuck with trying to evaluate. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.